Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing a Tinker Crate and I'm excited to get into this box with you. And if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to show you different unboxings like today or to give you different organizational ideas, curriculum ideas, and just to show you how our homeschool day and life works. So if you're interested in those things, please subscribe below and let's get into this box. So this month says it's a glowing pendulum. So explore chaotic motion with a double pendulum, pendulum, sorry, I can't talk, and UV light. So this sounds interesting to me. I don't even really know what to expect. So we open it up and on the top, we always have our little instructions that look like blueprints. So we have these and we'll open them up. It looks like you can see a kind of a quick picture of what we're making right there. So those are our instructions and they're double-sided. And sometimes on them, I don't know if that's, this is the case with this one, but sometimes on the back, this is actually an extra activity you can do either with the craft to kind of expound upon it or with some of the leftover supplies, you can make something separate. So I don't know if that's what this is here, but sometimes they have an extra craft on the back that you can do with these ones. So, and then they have our little booklet in here that's going to talk a little bit more about chaos. It says the butterfly effect right there and light out of darkness. So talk a little bit about UV stuff. And I just learned the scorpions grow, glow, not grow, <laughs> glow under UV light. I don't live in that kind of environment. I don't want to be around scorpions. So I didn't know that until just recently. And it's pretty crazy that they do. So that's, this will be exciting for my son to look look at and learn more about. So I don't even know what this is guys. Oh, citric acid. So we have citric acid in here with some Q-tips, a little bit of tape it looks like, and a popsicle stick. So that's what's in this little bag. And then it looks like we have some different maybe stickies and some wire connectors right here. And a bunch of orange pieces that my son's gonna put together somehow. And then a few wooden pieces this month. And this is the last thing. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's all folded up in a rubber band. And so I'm sure this is a huge part of the project. So we'll have to take video of it and let you know what this is. But it looks exciting. I'm excited to see how this all turns out because I honestly just have no idea what to expect from this one. So I'm going to let my son get into this and then we will let you know how it goes. Okay, so Mazer finished his Tinker Crate for this month and it was really cool. I wasn't sure what to expect at first and wasn't that impressed, but it can do some really cool things. So we're gonna hold it up for you, at least try to. It has some cans in the back. Those are not provided. <laughs> Thank heavens, the box would be so heavy. So you have to just get your own cans, so that helps it hold it itself up because this is, whoa! Don't do that. Don't smush your toes and drop cans everywhere. We're gonna take the cans out, but just know there's two little spots right here for cans to sit so that this will stay up because otherwise this is too heavy and it falls forward. So this is our little pendulum. Do you wanna swing it around for them? 
It's not working really good in the light now. It's not working super well. So it has a black light on it. It's hard to see, but it's right here. And so if you go into the bathroom and turn out the lights, it does really cool things. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, and try again. You can see this was really cool looking in the dark and all my kids really liked that. What else do they have? So on these instructions, there's also, they give you some uh, tape and you can make a maze. So you could undo this pendulum and then just use this part right here and string and try to make it through the maze. Mazer did make the maze with the tape, but then he didn't want to undo the pendulum. So we didn't actually try that part but he did do the tape. So that was a fun like extra thing you could do. And then it also lets you do invisible ink. So they gave it, Lisa's quiet. They gave us some citric, citric acid. And so he was able to mix that with some water and then draw and use the black light on the pendulum to see what he had drawn and had secret messages or whatever. So that was really cool. So this month's box had a lot of extra activities and really easy extra activities that the kids could do with it. And we really enjoyed it. So come over here. Was it, what did you like the most? Um, I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> was there anything you didn't like? I don't know. <laughs> We're not very talkative this week. So anyways, I really thought the craft was great. When I first unboxed it, I was unsure and not I didn't know how it was all gonna turn out or what it was gonna be like, but I thought it had a lot of really cool activities that you could do with it, and it kind of makes me more excited to learn about pendulums and stuff because I didn't really know very much about them and wave at you. <laughs> and so, anyways, that was this month's crate. Okay, sit down. And we are excited for next month, and if you are interested in seeing more in unboxings like this, please give this a thumbs up, and we will talk to you later.